Welcome to the first Sunday, Sunday match. Me versus Grant. There's going to be four matches a month. Every single Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, they're going to be premiered on YouTube. The first two Sundays Sunday. are going... Why are you laughing? No, it's good. The first two matches are going to be match play, and the second two matches are going to be an 18-hole stroke play match, part one and part two. So you get the best of both all in the same month. If you get a win, there is three points total for the entire month, and you'll get one point, obviously, for each win. PJ National, shout out to you guys for having us out. Just a great course right before the Honda Classic. We're pumped to be out here and pumped to be bringing you guys this content. Let's see who goes first. All right, oh, wow. here we go, and I don't have a tee. Great. First hole of the day here is a par four. Fresh out the car. Get the excuses out. He's starting off with excuses. I'm starting off with seven inch inseams. I tried to get shorter, but they're scary to look at. Put the heart rate up there. This is gonna get competitive, guys. I can tell you that right now. Two iron, baby. We're both in the rough, and they're about to have the PGA Tour event here. So for us to hold this green is going to be a miracle, because these greens are like cement out here. Smile, taking a picture. I'm taking a picture, right? Yeah. We're back, and I do not know what to expect right now. I know the last time we played out here, when you're in the rough, you're dead. Now it's all about creating a stance here. My goodness, Grant. The one place, man. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to book this one, boy. I'll take it all day. It actually added spin, the fact that it was sitting on that upslope. I have 76 yards to carry the bunker. That's my number that I'm trying to hit. Tig has got a thick lie over here. I'm trying to land it just over that bunker. I got a decent lie and I'm gonna have to take it pretty high. She's long. That's what happens. That ball took one bounce and just jumped up in the air. I feel like with all PGA Tour events, when you miss the fairway, they penalize you. And you know, we went to the gym the other day, me and him, and that was something that we'll have to some, someday get on camera. Grant needs like an OnlyFans for his gym page or something, because it's so special. Tig's got me in the gym a little bit right now, guys. This might be his plan to like tear my muscles apart, but it's hard to swing, man. I love these greens. I've actually had a couple college events out here. They are so pure. Yeah. That scared me. Oh man, I, I blew that one by. Wow. Just kind of have to get it on and get it on the right line and it should kind of trickle down to the hole. It's downhill breaking left the whole way. I've been practicing my lefts and rights a little bit, so they are getting a little bit better. Um, whenever something's starting going to the right, then I'm able to actually kind of kind of see it happening. Get cozy up there, throw a blanket over it in the hole, and Grant gave it to me for par. So he's got this to stay squ all square on the first ever hole of the match series. Arm lock, baby. Oh, yeah, Grant is all up in his head. He's got the arm lock, he's got the T dubs, he's got six different shafts in his bag right now. We are off to a good start here. That's kind of a big moment to make par on the first hole of this series. You don't want to mess around and make bogey and be down after one. I got a lot going on in the brain right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting used to everything. And I got, like Tig said, I have seven shafts in my bag right now. Tinkering. All right, here we are, hole number two, 418 yards. It's very straight, there's a bunker on the right, and then there's water on the left. It starts at about 290. So I think we're both hitting three wood. I wanna try to get something in the fairway here. Great swing there. The low knuckleballs are the the nut. The low. Oh, this is the nightmares. Let's get some likes for our first match and the fact that we're playing a PGA Tour course. Nice swing. Pretty. Why can I never see that? That's all relative. Because you think about it. Well, let's not go there. It's too early for that. Once again, guys, shout out to PJ National for having us out here to film our first match ever. This yeah, is the this match is play sector. Look how beautiful these fairways are. I can just take a nap right there. Nice grass is hard to beat. 151. Oh, thank you for doing that. I would have completely flown the green into those grandstands. 
I did an eight iron. Downwind from 150. So here we go. I got a nine iron, 152, going right at it. SMTW iron, baby. Get yourself set. Great shot by Horvat there. I got a pitching wedge, 147. It's not great. Second hole, right in the fairway, 147 yards and I missed the green. Oh, that was a terrible miss. I just can't get behind that arm lock thing. There's, it's, there's just too much happening when it's just going up your arm like that. That's what I want you to think. Like, I don't want anyone to like the arm lock because then they'll ban it. All right, good lie in the bunker. I actually was perfectly pin high, so I can't be too upset about it. But... Take Tig out of his misery. Arm lock, it's, it's, it ain't it, man. Can't be mad at a birdie. Gosh, might have to go to an arm lock. Switch to an arm lock? I will never let this video down. I will paste this video, this clip of you saying, why would you ever use an arm lock if you ever switch to it? It's going, it's going on the, the interweb, the cyberweb, man. Second hole of the day here. It's a par five. Ow! Oh my gosh, was that like a needle? <laughs> what? What was that? It just like I went just into my leg. leg with the tee. Um, I take, I'm telling you, there's something on the end of that tee. <laughs> what? I felt like it went into my skin. Forgiveness, baby. <laughs> right in the bunker. Is it? It's a bomber. It's all right. Oh, that's good. That was hit hard. Oh, it kicked right. in the fairway. I don't know if I'll be able to go at it from there, but I'll be able to get close. I love him. Grant's about to hit. He has to lay up. <clears throat> He's gonna lift this bunker. It's <laughs> Dang, I think as tall as Skyler. So this is interesting. We're in the bunker here. We got to lay up on a par five, and we have a lift. So now it's all about how risky you want to get. Do you want to take a less lofted club and try and get it further, or do you want to take like an eight iron and just play the safe route? Which I'm gonna play the safe route. Car path only today, guys. Those are the worst words in golf, I feel like. Forearms the size of Popeye. Like, he can just rip through this, this rough here with enough speed. Me, it grabs me and twists my entire body. So, taking a long iron is actually pretty risky out of this stuff. Well, 250 to the pin, hit a seven iron and get myself a wedge in. Oh, it sounded heavy, but it's in play. Oh, it's just past mine. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I'm in a bunker, he's in the rough, you, you can't advance it much more. Here we go, guys. Tig's got me by, he's probably 20 yards ahead of me here, 20, 30 yards. I got 135 into the breeze, I'm gonna punch an eight iron. Holy Tito. Oh my God, Grant. I thought those Tito's weren't working oh! for you. All right, Mr. Morris. 106, it's time to answer. I'm gonna play a little 50 degree kind of low. I can't see the bottom of the pin, I don't think, so I think there's like a little ridge. I think it's pin high, but it's let a little bit left. Just a little bit out of the groove right now, but I'll make that. I get to go first if I make it. Put the pressure back on great. All right, all right, all right, all right. Arm Locky special. The Arm Locky special here. All right, well, this is starting off exactly how you would want to see it for Grant. All right, Tig, no pressure here, brother. Just two putts and you're good. That was the bowl I was talking about. Let's go! You can't be mad about birdies. I am a little bit mad, but no, I'm just kidding two up after three holes with two birdies in a row. The arm lock so far is proving to be effective. There's not gonna be enough arm locks on the market after this one. There's gonna be like a scarcity for arm locks. I'm Scared a little bit shook hole. right now. Hey, well that's where I wanted to get you. That's why I got the TW irons too. I wanted to shake you up a little. I mean, just starting off the match with TW irons and an arm lock and making two birdies in the first three holes, you might be onto something. 
here we go. Fourth hole of the day. I got my driver teed up super low. Now this is not a driver hole. It's only like 360 yards. I'm gonna hit the driver. It's not the smartest play, but I'm feeling aggressive. Exactly what I wanted. Man, I can't believe I just hit a low fade. Come on now. It was dead straight, so that's a good thing. The last time I played this course, we were playing in the Honda Classic Pro-Am and it's a little bit different than it was then. So I'm gonna go with two iron. I feel pretty confident about that. I'm looking for about a 260. Give me about a hundred in. Man, I hit that so good. It's gonna be so close. Good iron shot, Dig. Nice driver. But... I know, I was like complimenting you. 99. Let's stick another one. Let's stay on the birdie train. Huh. What are you? It went over the back. Yeah. Alright, I got 90 on the dot. A little bit of an opening. I want to only carry this about 85 though, to be honest. I just try to get it to stay just short of the pin. I got a putt, that's what I was looking for, just a little right of the pin. Now it's just time to make it and get right back on track here. Fortunately guys, I'm gonna have a very, very tough up and down. And that's the one thing I was worried about, was going long, I just cured it. I thought you hit it fast. Oh no. That pin is closer to the front than it looks. Hey, you've been known to chip in on me once or twice though. That is right where I landed. And that's where my ball is. Welcome to the PGA Tour. Oh my. You are an absolute dog. That is literally insane. That is not real. You can't do that. All right, there we go. That is unbelievable. Come on now. Doesn't make sense. Is that a stretch putt, straight putt? Look at that down there. Incredibly good shot. You just have to be so good to hit that shot. We're gonna have to talk about it this week. It's, you gotta chill a little bit. I think we're gonna have to talk about this off camera. That is literally one of the best parts that you'll probably see in the match series. It's not the place to miss it. Let's just say that. I had a little bit of a flashback to the good, good UK major right there against Tig because we were neck and neck the entire day. Tig was actually beating me most of the day. It was just nuts. That kind of felt like it. The TVs are watching us right now. 151. I got a 9 iron. Here we go. Okay, now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Zoom. I hyped that up way too much. Sorry. Grant hit it in almost the perfect spot. Probably just didn't quite get the bounce that he needed, but it's going to be close. That was beautiful. Where did he go? He like three feet. That's what I needed. That is what I needed, baby. We can both have our A games one day. I think we can have some insanely competitive matches. I know, and I can already feel it right now. Grant still hit it inside of me, but I get the opportunity to put first and hopefully make it put the pressure back on him. But we both got inside uh, of We're pretty close, man. <laughs> Grant has, he's just outside, but he's got an opportunity here to make three birdies in the first five holes. Show me you got a pulse there, brother. You're talking to the wrong guy. I'm a robot now. Here we go for the birdie. That's got to go left. That's good. That's got to go left. Holy cow, that's such a good putt. That does not turn left like it should. Just another huge opportunity missed for me. I've been practicing so hard on my putting too. I mean, I'm rolling it good. I'm just not reading it good. Six hole here, 479 yard par four. Wow, that is long. I'm gonna lead us off. I think they're reachable for me. 
Grant carried it almost to where they were, just in the water. Safe. Very safe tag. Kind of the match play mindset of like Grant's out of play, you gotta get one in play. But your Grant probably gonna still make par because of the way he's been playing, but those T dubs, man, I gotta I should get some of those. They just look so good, but I don't know. I just can't quite convince myself yet. Oh boy. Well, I gotta drop pretty far back. I gotta drop pretty far back. I got 275. That is a tough look for the young man. You ever heard that saying I'm down but I'm not out? I'm down. But I'm not out. I'm like I'm not down like mentally, but I'm down in the match. Dropped way back here. I'm gonna have like 250, 260. Got the three wood hook lie. I'm gonna play a big old draw here. Just trying to make bogey at this point. All right, plenty of green to work with from there. Up and down for the bogey. You never know what Tig's gonna make, so we just gotta grind it out. Stay. Stay in the moment, stay focused. I got 215 yards left. I'm gonna hit it at the number six in that tower. Probably gonna be just a little bit short. I'm hitting five here, but the pin's over to the left, so got an opportunity here. There's a little right at my target. I don't know exactly where it's at. I hit it good, but I think it's over there somewhere. So this is where it gets uh, pretty tragic. Right there. That's what you don't want to see, but now, oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wild one. It looks like a roller coaster up on the green. High and hope. High and to the right, and hope it funnels down. That was not it. That rough just grabbed my club and turned the face down. Got that for bogey. I don't know how mine stayed up here with the cart bath being here and this downhill being right here, but I'm alive hitting three. See if I can get this up and down for far. I just want to get it right on the front edge. Settle. That was kind of like my overarching goal. This would feel like the biggest win ever. We can hold this out for bogey. Go! Oh. No, I thought for a second you made it and then it goes off. Well, Tig's got two putts for the win there. Got an opportunity to win my first hole of this match series. Match play is like trying to outrun a bear. You don't have to be the fastest person, you just have to be faster than the slowest person. And on that hole, in real life, I would get eaten by the bear too, so. <laughs> I was like, no matter the situation. Well, that has gotta be the hardest hole on the entire course. 379 into the wind. This par three here is a tough one. You gotta actually land it towards the front of the green. It's probably gonna roll all the way back. I get honors for the first time here on hole number seven. Yep. 179, I got nine iron. Hey, you just don't wanna be long here, so I'm gonna hit nine. I hit that so I was like, there's no way me hitting a nine iron is gonna end up long. I don't think I've ever seen Grant hit a good shot. This is insane. No! Is it short? Caught the fringe just before it spun. Dang it, man. Yeah, that's on the front edge of the green. Man, I hit that perfect. I don't understand how mine's long, but you are hitting those irons just about as buttery, buttery as I've ever seen you hit it in iron. I mean, when Tiger Woods kisses them, they feel pretty good. So I hit them the other day on the range and they're amazing. Oh, they're amazing. There's no reason you shouldn't get them. Straight up the hill here. Kind of focus, dial this in. I'm one, I'm one up now, I'm really gonna try and. Wow. Is it? Come on now. Absolutely just careering it on our first match. I actually think I pretty got a pretty good read on this. It's uphill and then back downhill. Kind of breaking to the right, I think. Oh no. Such a good line. <laughs> Is 
mission critical. That was good. Mm. Feels good not to give that one up. Come on. You get one back and then if you turn right around and just serve it back up on a platter, it feels terrible. But it's a great two putt, one down, two to play. This clutch. is exactly like you want these matches to go. That's clutch when you make a 10 footer for par. Got that dog in them. All right, here we are, hole number eight. Two holes left, I'm one down. Straight away par four, it's 280 to the water. I'm hitting two iron. Grant's got driver, but I guess when you hit it 270, it's okay. Yeah. I'm going with my low, uh, my low, uh, low cut, please. You hit the FT Euro? No, I was not trying, but I actually, when I did that, I was like, I felt like Fat Perez for a second. All right, that's so mental. Two things, we got the dog in them and the little Euro step that I almost just did. I don't even know what I was doing. It wasn't that, but shout out to Fat Perez. And the boys over there, they patent a lot of dances and things now. I zoned out Any, anything you said. I'm, I was just, I was absolutely flaming after that tee shot. I think I saw it down though, didn't you? Yeah, it came down, but you're gonna probably be in the trees. No, don't talk to me like that. Got 200 to the pin. This is completely blocked out. I gotta take my medicine, chip back out, and try to get up and down for far. When you chip out and you do something like that, that is, it does not get much worse. No comment? No comment. I'm not even gonna comment on Tig's tree trouble. I'm just gonna focus right here on uh, up and down for the birdie. Here we go. Nine iron, 142 to the pin. to do center of the green got two putts from there to secure the win on the first match takes walking over to his ball right now and it's short shorts those things are so short might as well just put on boxers at that point but hey you got to chip this in for actually you could wear a speedo at that point but you got to chip this in for uh for par here i'm going for broke here it's got to go in Two putts to seal the deal right here. Going right at it. I didn't even really look at it. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I literally am gonna have to putt it. Grant, what is going on? What just happened? Did you just break? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, he has to make a 40 footer to have a chance, but I'm still gonna make this. I, mean, I still haven't even putted this. This is the range that the arm lock thrives under. Well, if I'd have known this was going to happen, I probably would have went with more of the conservative try to get up and down instead of make it, but... And if I would have known this was going to happen, I probably would have gone with the more conservative two-putt. This is going to be the greatest bogey of all time. Just do it, Micah, please. Bogey. Oh. Now he still has two putts, <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> he did what he had to, he lagged it up there, guys. That is literally the first Sunday match in the book. Good job, Grant. Thank you, brother. Grant has one point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these. Grant's channel is linked in the description. Make sure and tune in next week, every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some days, you just don't quite have it.